Hey, we're doing something really fun today. I'm going to make some meatballs, stuff them with some white cheddar, hats chili cheese. We're going to wrap them in bacon and then finish them with the barbecue glaze. Now, this is a great recipe when you're having friends over, you know, they're, they're small, you have some finger food. Hey, maybe you're doing a big cook of brisket or something. This will give something for folks to munch on while that big cook's going. I've got one pound, uh, it's actually 1.1 pounds of ground beef. I actually think this is like 85-15. I know it's at least it's usually 80-20 or 90-10 in my store, but this was this weird combination. Got one quarter cup of milk I'm going to add in here. I've got one egg I'm going to add in here. Half a cup of breadcrumbs. Okay. And then what I'm going to do for my seasoning is these folks from Heaven Made Products sent me this out to try. I'm going to use a little of this smoky jalapeno and I'm going to use what they call a Heaven Made Products It's Incredible. Now if you don't have these, you can use about a half a teaspoon of salt, a half a teaspoon of pepper, half a teaspoon of onion powder, and then put in like a teaspoon of your favorite uh, barbecue rub. Uh, but we used this smoky habanero rub from this uh, Heaven Made Products, folks. It was absolutely awesome. So I want to give these a try today. So what I'm going to do here is just get this all blended in well. You know, the milk soaked up, the breadcrumbs mixed through it evenly, and the seasons evenly. And as soon as I get that done, we'll come back. And I'll show you how we plan to make these awesome, awesome meatballs up. Alright, so I've got this all mixed in together. And now I'm going to do just uh, make some meatballs here, right? Make them the size you want. I think that's about what I'm looking for right there. Um, you know, it depends on what else you're serving. If this is an appetizer, you know, and you're making a lot of other stuff, then you might want to make them... A little smaller. You don't have to worry about them getting perfectly round yet. I'll show you why in a minute. You just want to get them portioned out. Okay. And um, I'm going to do this uh, obviously with this uh, whole pound or 1.1 pounds of ground beef. And as soon as I get them all portioned out, I'll show you how we're going to uh, get them stuffed with a little cheese. How about that? So I ended up with 16 meatballs here. Like I said, we had a pound of ground beef, so they're, you know, they're a little over an ounce a piece, you know, because there's the breadcrumbs and the other stuff. Now, what I've got here, this, I, I'm so excited about this. I found sharp cheddar hatch chili cheese, okay? It's got hatch chilies in it. I love hatch chilies. They're one of my favorite chilies. If you're not familiar with them, they're not hot. Don't worry about it, you know, being, you know, spicy like some of these other things, um, but they have an incredible flavor. This was just seven point something ounces, just under eight ounces. Okay. What I'm going to do, as you can see, I'm going to cut it up into four slices first to start with. All right. And then I'm just going to make little cubes that we can stuff inside this meatloaf. Or, uh, I'm sorry, I said meatloaf inside these meatballs. So you make them as big as you want, but you know if you make them too big, they're not going to fit inside uh, the uh, the meatballs. So let me just get some of this uh, cheese cubed up and uh, so that we can uh, stuff them. And then the other thing I've got here is some bacon. that I, It's uh, just regular slice. I would not recommend using thick slice. I got some bacon that I've sliced, uh, you know, sliced the strips in half. And that's how, what we're going to be wrapping these meatballs in. Okay. So again, just let me get this uh, cheese cut up and then we'll be right back to the next step. So now I'm just going to take a piece of this cheese, you know, kind of flatten the meatball out with your thumb, and then just enclose it, right? Really uh, quite, quite straightforward, quite simple, all right? So just going to, you know, we'll do one more so you can see. I just kind of push it down with my thumb, put the cheese in, and then wrap it all up. So let me get uh, whatever I told you had. I think we have, said we had 16. Let me get these 16 meatballs stuff with this sharp cheddar hats chili cheese and then uh, we're going to break out this bacon okay okay so we've got our meatballs here all stuffed up with the 
cheese. Um, and, you know, they're about the same size. I mean, they're not perfect, but, you know, that's up to you. And, by the way, if you can't find this cheese, really, don't lose any sweat over that, right? Get the cheese you like. This just sounded pretty exciting to me. I was actually going to get provolone until I saw it, okay? Now you're going to wrap this with bacon, okay? And you want to stretch it out, right? That's a half a piece. Now, if you don't want a lot of bacon, you can stop right there, okay? But in my case, I'm afraid that that won't be enough cholesterol for me. So I'm going to come back over to top like so. And we're going to wrap the other side. You know? This way, we're not going to have anything showing. Uh, no, in terms of the meat. And then what I'm going to do just as a precaution, I don't know if I'm going to need it for sure. But I'm going to come back through each one of these with one toothpick just to kind of help hold it in place. So again, you know, just stretch your bacon. So it goes all the way around this guy like so. You want it to overlap. That'll help hold it in place when the bacon's touching like that. Okay. And again, just going to come back the other way. Oh yeah, this is going to be bacon and beef absolute deliciousness. Okay. So come back in here again with a toothpick. Just takes one. That's all I'm going to use. Okay. All right. So let me get these all wrapped in bacon. And then I'll show you how I'm going to cook these guys. Okay, we've got our 16 meatballs. So let's talk about, you know, just make sure that you buy the right stuff if you're going to go out and make this. I had 1.1 pounds of ground beef. I used a whole pound of bacon. And then I told you that Hatt's chili cheese, uh, Hatt's cheese was just under 8 ounces. It was 7 something. And I only used maybe a little less than half. So I'd say I used 3 ounces of cheese. So that's all you're going to need. Um, you know, you don't need that whole 8 ounces. Now I'm just going to come back in with the real light layer on top of that smoky, heaven-made product, smoky jalapeno rub, right? You could just use, you know, your favorite barbecue rub, the same rub you used on the, you know, when we uh, uh, mixed up the, the ground beef and the milk and the egg, all that good stuff in the seasoning. And the other thing you'll notice is I did not put a toothpick in all of them. As I was wrapping them up, the bacon seemed to be holding quite well. Now, I may learn a valuable lesson when we get these on the grill that I should have toothpicked them all. But I, I stopped. It just seemed like the bacon was holding, and uh, why bother adding the extra toothpick? But we'll soon find out, right? So you can see, just a very, very light label, uh, a layer, probably not even another teaspoon to the recipe. I am using this pit barrel today. You could use your grill, you could use your master built, whatever smoker you've got. You, you don't even have to, like I say, I'm not using any wood today. Pit barrel's just sitting here in front of me. It's not covered up, so I don't have to uncover one of the other grills. This guy's running around 200, no, it's actually up to 302 right now. It was running about 290. Of course, I got the lid off, so it is going to get a little hotter. So if you're using your grill or your smoker, you know, set it up there about 300 if you want your cook time to be similar to whatever this cook time ends up being today. All right? So we got them on there. Let me get the lid on them. I'll check on them in 20 minutes just to see what they're looking like. I spent a total of 40 minutes. Um, it's time to glaze these guys. I'm going to use this Budweiser Sweet and Smoky today. You can see some of that cheese starting to ooze out. I'm just going to take this barbecue sauce, hit each one of these guys on the top, maybe let them go five, ten minutes, just long enough for it to caramelize. We'll turn it over. I'll then glaze the other side. You know, after the five or ten minutes, of course. We'll go another five or ten to let that other side caramelize. Then I'm going to yank these guys off of here, and we're going to give them a try. So we glaze this other side, let it go another ten minutes, both sides ten minutes. Total cook time today, one hour. This pit barrel ran around 355, 360 degrees. We're going to get these off here. I'm going to plate some up. We're going to give them the old taste test. We're going to cut into one of these guys. Give it a taste. And I did check the temperature, by the way, just to make sure. Uh, no, that one doesn't have too much cheese. Let's see if we can find another one. I'd like a little bit more cheese. Ah, well, it looks like, uh, you know, I didn't use enough cheese. Uh, it's kind of uh, melted. Oh, there's one. You can see a little bit here. 
So I can tell you now, if I was doing this again, I would double up the cheese. But there's, you can see there's a little cheese in it, but it's not like gushing out. Okay, so let's give this a try. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. I love the, the meatball flavor itself. Bacon. I mean, you know, I don't need to comment on bacon, right? Bacon makes everything better. As I mentioned, I would double up the cheese. They're, they're not very cheesy. Um, I, I was afraid that the cheese would come gushing out during the cook, um, you know, and they would get all sloppy. But um, it looks like that the cheese more or less just got soaked up into the meat. So, oh wow. Is it a bust? Nah, it's not a bust. I mean, but if you wanted them cheesy, you'd definitely uh, double up on the, on the cheese. The flavor of these is great. I would definitely make these again, especially if I was having folks over. And in fact, uh, on Derby weekend, we're going to do a brisket. I bet you that I, I make some then for folks to munch on. Uh, but I will double up that cheese. Barbecue sauce, got a great flavor. That uh, seasoning from the, uh, uh, what's a Heaven Made Products, incredible seasoning. It's great. I get, um, I do get a, a, a little jalapeno in the background. Smoke. Um, it's hard to say if it's from the seasoning or if it's from, you know, the meat dripping down on the, on the charcoals and it coming up. Uh, but I definitely get a little bit of jalapeno flavor, not the spice. If you're worried about it being hot, these are not, these are not hot at all. But they're absolutely delicious. You can see they're messy. And I'm sorry um, that I've um, keep eating in front of you. Hey, if my buddy uh, Phil in Florence is watching, Phil. This is a blueberry kiwi mead that I made. Anyway, I'm sure nobody else cares about that. Thanks so much for watching. If you've got any questions or comments about this video, just leave them down here in the comment section. We try to answer all comments in 24 hours. If you're not a subscriber, I hope you click that subscribe button and the little bell. You'll be notified of all of our new videos. We try to do a lot of easy backyard videos. Thanks so much for watching.